So over here, you can see that I have a 3D file. And if I were to double click this, then what happens is that it opens up with Paint 3D. But not always, I want to edit, um, open it out with an editing program. Sometimes I just want to view 3D files. So to open this out with 3D file, first of all, you need to have the 3D viewer installed. So for that, I'm going to go around onto the Microsoft Store right here. And then I'm going to go around and type in 3D Viewer right here. So if I were to type in 3D Viewer and press enter, you can see there is an app right here. So you can go around and get this. This is from Microsoft itself and it allows you to view uh, 3D files and preview it out easily. So it's loading up right here and now it is installing and you can see that now it's uh, okay to open this. So it has already been installed onto the computer. So I can simply close this and now if I were to right click over here and go to open with, then you can see 3D viewer is an option. And once you click on 3D viewer, you can see that uh, it is updating right here because it is the first time that I'm running the application and it's downloading some updates as you can see right here. And as it completes downloading, what happens is that it is updated and 3D viewer starts up over here. And you can see the 3D right here. You can click and drag around. You cannot do any edits right here, but you can see that this is the preview of the 3D file that you have right here. Anything you mean, uh, make with Paint 3D or if you want to uh, view, like preview out other 3D files, you can use the 3D viewer just like this. So over here in the 3D file, you can go around, enable virtual reality as well. You can see other options right here, like settings, like vertices and so forth. As you can see, you can see details of how the 3D is actually made out. You can see the opacity, the emission and so forth. You can also view out different things and see some presets here, as you can see. So there's some orthographic view modes that you can view out as well and click and drag around and see how this looks. So over here, you can see that there is projection right here as well. You can enable and disable out the grid right here and so forth. So if I were to go around onto the beginning, this is what you have. You can choose different lighting modes uh, that you see over here as well and rotate around the lights and see how the different lighting conditions actually look. And over here, you can see that there's different light conditions right here as well. You can change this around right here, just like this. You can change uh, everything around, choose like two right here, change this around over here, and that is how it looks. So over here in the environment, you can go around over here, change around the saturation, the value, and so forth, as you can see right here. And that is how you can use the 3D viewer inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.